Hey guys, Akira here. So today in this video I'll be going in depth with the Sire Denethrius Heroic Encounter, which talents to use, when to use CDs, how to main 100% uptime, and in general, you know, topping the meters in this specific encounter as a Kyrian Arms Warrior. If you're looking for a rotation specific guide, I have another video on my channel dedicated to that, so I'm assuming that you know the basics of the class and spec here. I'll be pausing the video a couple of times to comment on why I do specific stuff and also when I make mistakes. So yeah, grab a coffee, get comfy and um, let's begin. So first things first, we want to make sure that we have all consumables popped. We don't want to miss out on any free damage. Also, you can see my talents here on the left side. I, I go Sudden Death, Double Time, Massacre. Defensive stance, just because I like it as a defensive, it doesn't do anything to my damage. Warbreaker, Avatar, Dreadnought. And yeah, so also my legendary for this encounter, only this encounter actually in the whole Castle Nathria raid, uh, I go with Second of Torment and Kings. And the reason for this is you can get a pretty significant damage increase in the first phase if you're lucky to proc a Bladestorm off of Avatar when the first set of ads spawn. So yeah, that's why I go Signet instead of... Uh, I mean, that's why I go Torment and Kings instead of Unhinged. So yeah, let's uh, keep it rolling here. See what I do. All right, so pull timers up. First of all, I position myself to make sure that I can charge into the boss. Usually when people pull him, he'll instantly teleport to where you actually tank him. In this case, I don't know what fucked up with the, with the teleport, but yeah, as you see, it fucked up a little bit. Okay, so first set of ads, I instantly Warbreaker, Warbreaker avatar here. And unfortunately, I don't get uh, an, uh, a Blaze Storm proc. Let's, let's watch it again here. As you see, as soon as I add spawn, Warbreaker Avatar there. But I get a Recklessness instead of uh, Avatar, so I just run around and, and use some overpowers and stuff to cleave. The reason I don't use Blade Storm here is that on the first set of adds, everyone else is going to pop their major CDs, major AoE CDs. So the ads are going to die really quickly and you won't get the full value out of your blade storm actually. So what I like to do is wait till the second go with my uh, with my big AoE cooldown and I'll get way more uptime on these ads and way more damage. As you can see there's a mage doing 17k. I'm not even on the meter right now, but we're going to get there. Don't you don't worry. Alright, so just standard rotation here. I don't care if I face the wall here because I want to charge anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me as a warrior. Alright, second cleansing pain coming out, and you see me here. Pop blade storm, boom. And notice how long these ads are up for. Like, they're up for the entire blade storm duration, and I even get to pop sweeping strikes and do some executes here for some extra damage. So that is really nice for our, our, our DPS meter here. As you can see, I'm on, on fourth place now as well. Try to get as much uptime here when he runs, like, also why it's a really good idea to have double time on this boss, because it'll just increase your uptime so much. All right, next set of ads here, I don't have very much to do here. So, yeah, I just try to get some executes out. Doesn't really work out that well, not gonna lie. Could have used my Spear of Bastion there as well. I used it right here instead. That was a slight mistake, but it happens. It's also, you know, you also have to take in account that there are actual mechanics that you have to deal with uh, when, when doing a raid, which is why you cannot do it perfectly. Here you, you just saw me use uh, Whirlwind because I had literally nothing and um, there was a lot of ads up and I think that Whirlwind did more damage than slam or overpower here so that's why I popped it but it's not of any big significance here you just keep doing your normal rotation trying to maintain as much uptime as possible and then we're gonna see a transition here soon after this cleansing pain you could hold some DPS here on these ads but I like to save my blade storm for the ads downstairs let's see here what I do here when I when I get up to side and after you is I throw out my shattering throw and also Heroic Throw just after, because that's the only kind of DPS you can get in here. But it doesn't really matter that much. But it's something to do if you really want to maximize it. 
Right, I charge to the Nathrius here. I don't want to pop any CDs yet because I know Ads are spawning in a second. I heroic leap to the Ads. I wait for the boss to get here so I can Warbreaker even more targets. I Warbreaker pop Avatar, which procs my Bladestorm, so that's really good. Use Sweeping Strikes, Mortal Strike, and Executes here. Try to find the Execute targets and also remember to stay alive. Like Your damage can suffer a little bit from trying to stay alive, but you know. You're gonna be at the bottom of the meter if you actually die, so keep that in mind. You wanna live, that's first priority. Second priority is being a number one, that's for sure. All right, so the rest of this phase is really about popping sweeping strikes at the right moment and also wall breaker at the right moment. So I pop sweeping strikes here because I know the sword is coming, but I didn't account for the fact that we have to go back through the mirror. I'm doing this with a puck, so it's not very well coordinated. So I kind of lose out on a lot of value from my sweeping strikes there. All right, dancing time. It's just staying alive and I'm saving my wall breaker here. As you can see, I'm saving my wall breaker because I want to use it on multiple targets. I want to use it either on Sire and Remonia, or I want to use it on next that phase. Let's, let's see what I do. Yeah, I, I use it here, I think. Yep, used it here. Also, I get sweeping strikes up and I get a single I said get a single execute proc to go with the sweeping strikes and the wall breaker, which dealt a lot of damage. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. Also, I still have it up here when the sword gets back, I see. So this is the things you want to keep in mind. Also, here I hit the sword one time because I don't have mortal uh yeah, wounds, deep wounds up on the Kabbalist yet. So I switch after that when I can get it up. Let's see, I think I save my avatar here for the next set of ads on the other side, where I can combo it with Warbreaker and uh, Bladestorm. Just because that combo deals so much damage when you hit it on multiple targets. See here, yeah, I think we're going through mirror now here, and then moving for the other set. Oh, I actually, that was a big mistake right here. Let's see. I actually use my Warbreaker just as we go through the mirror here. Watch this. Yeah, that was so stupid, and I didn't hit any of them, and I, I'm forced to blade storm on two targets without a warbreaker on. So that was a big mistake, actually. It's probably 100 to 150 the overall DPS there. So yeah, you don't want to do that. Here, I just try to follow as good as possible. I know ads are gonna spawn here, so let's see what I do. Sweeping strikes, and I pop avatar, get a blade storm proc, which is really good. I want to hit two targets here. I'm kind of annoyed at the tank for not for not tanking them together. But it is what it is. It's a puck, you know. Can't expect anything else. All right, so stay alive here. Dance a little bit. And soon we're going to transition into next phase because just gonna go through the mirror here and kill the next set of ads. I use my uh, my wall breaker here again on both Ramonia and Sire, so that was pretty fine. Also, I have sweeping strikes up for the ads, which is good. I get some more uh, executes here. Uh, nice. And as you can see, we're sitting on 4.4k right now, which is, it's not the best, but it's definitely better than average uh, people on this fight, not gonna lie. I think like top 100 is 4.5k overall in this fight. So that's what we're aiming for. As a Kyrian, Kyrian warrior, that is. We're really losing out on DPS by not being a Venthyr, but we gotta roleplay a little bit, you know? I, I make a very mistimed uh, Blade Storm here. I didn't expect him to move that quickly, so that's not too good. I wanted to build up Rage, and right now I'm saving my Warbreaker for the 35% mark where I can start executing. And Hopefully, I will also pop my potion when he hits 35%. Yeah, you see, I thought he was going to hit 35 there. But potion is popped, everything is popped. I use my spear to get up rage when I get low. I charge in to get even more rage. And I weave in overpowers to make sure that I just don't dump all my rage. When you're in execute phase, you, you want to use execute when you have 40 or more rage because it caps at 40, the damage that is. So you can actually miss out on a lot of damage if you just spam execute. So I think a lot of uh, arms warriors make that mistake. 
So yeah, either when you get a sudden death proc or you have 40 or more rage, and if you don't, you use overpower, and if the wounds fall off, you use mortal strike. So here I get another warbreaker out, and we get some big executes here. And as you can see, I'm waiting for the 50 rage, uh, the 40 rage all the time. Get a shattering pain here, 40 rage again. We just keep repeating this process, keeping demon boots up whenever it go off. Otherwise, don't use mortal strike at all. And here I should blaze on when I get close. When I've used another execute, I actually got a sudden death prac, so now I should blaze on. All right. Uh, oh, I used my spear of bastion instead to generate rage, and away from my blaze on. Probably around next here. Yeah. There we go. Try to hit him all the way out. I get a wall breaker and multi uh, avatar combo again, and we just keep pumping. And you can see we're kind of climbing the damage meter right now. Being second place right now, just behind. No, oh, no, we're first place. Talking about the devil. So, as everyone knows, arms warrior shouldn't <laughs> top the meters against boomies and stuff. But we're really try harding here. Yeah, last phase is basically repeating the process. Here I am forced to soak a little bit for my team. So I go into defensive stance actually, which is a, a DPS loss, as you probably know. But yeah, I'm back in uh, battle stance and I get another set of Warbreaker. I'll probably get one more Warbreaker off before the fight ends, because I can see some people are dead, so the boss won't die immediately. We keep dancing here, positioning for shattering pain so we don't die, charge back, keep the uptime going. Uptime is really important. If you miss like 3 seconds on the boss, it's about 100 DPS overall. So that is really, really important. Alright, let's see what happens here. He should die very soon. Holy shit. We're going low here, staying alive. Getting a few more executes out. One more, and there we go. And we got him. So let's see, we ended up at 4.4k, which is uh, in the first place with a full, almost full curved group. So I'd say uh, we're pretty satisfied. And um, I think my best try is 4.8k with the same gear that I have now, which is 220 with uh, this legendary. So it's not my best try, but you get the general idea. I messed up on a single blade storm and also and also a sweeping strikes and a wall breaker, so that's about 100 DPS each. And also I didn't get Bladestorm from my first avatar in the uh, first phase with the ads. And uh, I think that's about where I uh, went wrong with the, with the maximizing of our damage. So yeah, that's it for this fight. I hope you learned something and enjoyed watching it. And I hope you will consider liking, disliking, subscribing or anything, it'll help me a lot. Also, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section. I'll answer everyone unless the video pops off somehow. You can also let me know if what kind of PvE related content you want and I'll try to cover it in, in a future video. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.